welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title today is a tag video and i have all of my notes and so i'm going to stay on task as i'm talking i will try to pop up just periodic pictures throughout the month of may of things that i uh, wore so this is a tag video and the tag is hashtag me made may lessons and this is of course is from the me made may 2018 um the originator zoe of so zo what do you know <laughs> say that 10 times fast um the tag looks like it was originated uh, approximately in 2010 so almost eight nine years ago um and as per zoe's website uh she says me made may is a challenge designed to encourage people who make their own clothes to develop a better relationship with their handmade wardrobe um and so yes the whole thing started back in 2010 and so today's tag the originators of today's tag uh the initiators are karina from lifting pins and needles um, Vivian of Stitches and Seams, Elizabeth from Elizabeth made this of myself, as well as Crystal from Crystal Souls and stuff. And so I will link all of their YouTube channels down below um, because everybody will probably do their videos between the day you see this and maybe yesterday um, by the time you see this. So I will also list in the uh, description box below everyone's channels as well as the um how these questions were created these are actually questions created by that sewing lab duo which is dawn of dueling designs and myra of um myra lorraine and you probably followed them both here on youtube i will also link their channels down below um and then you can go check them out if you are not make sure that you are subscribed so let me get into who I tag. I tag Nikki um, with Sewing at Midnight. I know she has some hilarious thoughts on the month. Love her. I'm going to also tag Gemma of A Girl So Geeky. I know she's been posting, not doing as many videos, but hopefully she can do this tag. Um, and also Fanny with So Many Fabrics. So let's get into the questions. And again, all the questions will be down below if I did not tag you. No worries. Go ahead and just pick up the questions down below. Pick up the links and everything and share them in your video. Or let me know that you did the tag. And myself and others who are looking at the comments can go and check you out. So here's the first question. And there are a total of seven questions. First question. What prompted you to join Me Made May this year? And so I've been seeing Me Made May on Instagram for the past several years. But I wasn't always sewing like I am now. I would sew every now and again maybe one or two things a year or something like that. Until last year, 2017, where I, where I began to pick up my sewing um, garment game. So, you, so uh, you will. But last year, I did not have enough items or even enough items to repeat for the month of May to participate. And so this year, because I've been sewing more, I had more items to wear um, this this past Me Made May. Um, what percentage of me, the second question is, what percentage of Me Made clothes do you have in your closet? My answer, about 90% of my wardrobe is Me Made. And this is not counting bras and panties, although that will be changing. And I'll talk about that in a separate video. This year in May, out of the 31 days, separate days, I wore approximately 20 original pieces there about um, without repeating. Now, 90 and then the rest of the month was just, you know, repeats or a mix of um, uh, a couple ready to wear items I had. Now, 95% of the things that I wore were dresses. Um, but there were also a couple of skirts as a, and as a matter of fact, I only own three me made skirts, which is something I've known for a while that I don't have a lot of skirts. And those were the Soulaholic Hollyburn, um, the Sinclair skirt, as well as the Valentine and Stitch Margarita skirt. And I have other me made skirts, but they're special occasion skirts that is not something I will wear in my everyday life or to work. Um, so yeah. Question number three, do you still purchase ready to wear? And if so, has sewing changed the amount you purchase? So my answer is no. 
um, but bras. Uh, but then again, like that, like I said earlier, that will be changing. Even though I'm sizing down and donating and selling a lot of my me mates, I still haven't purchased any ready to wear. Um, plus, this year I'm um, participating in the Goodbye Valentino ready to wear fast. Um, so, yeah. Uh, question number four, did you learn anything new about your me made clothing by joining the challenge? Well, absolutely. There are several things I learned. Um, one thing is I don't have many solids. I think I have three or four solids, period. Um, because I really do love prints. I, I, I do. I absolutely love prints. But it would be nice to have some solids like the black, the brown, the gray to interchange with uh, slacks or skirts, you know, different things like that. I also don't have nearly as many blouses as I'd like to have in a variety like button ups. I've talked about this before, button ups or something like the Love Notions Rhapsody blouse. Um, but I have lots of dresses, which I'm fine with but I need to pick up things in the separates and solids department to make my wardrobe a little bit more versatile. Question number five, did you find anything difficult while participating in the challenge? It wasn't difficult. Well, I don't know that my goal was to wear something original and not repeat the entire month, um, which I'm fine with. Um, I don't mind repeating, but I didn't have enough pieces that I can interchange with. Again, going back to, to what I just said about not having enough solids to kind of mix and match even with some prints. And then if I'm having a closet full of dresses, I'm definitely not able to kind of do some um, interchanging there. Um, so I definitely need some staples. Um, definitely not nearly enough separates. Question number six, what do you feel was the best about the challenge or lessons for you um, you learned, if any? The best thing about the challenge, and um, I'm sure many people will be able to resonate and say the same thing, is that obviously I'm able to identify the gaps in my in my wardrobe. But also one of the other things that I did for the month of May, and I was going to start doing this anyway, so May was the perfect time. I wrote down in my planner um, on the front uh, the month where you see all all the days. I wrote out every what I wore each day. And so then I took note of, just a mental note, I didn't necessarily write it down, but took a mental note of, okay, how, how does it fit me? Um, would, I, would I wear this like this again? Do I need to maybe wear it with something a little different or something like that? Those are the types of things that, um, the notes that I took. Um, and so again, identifying those gaps in my wardrobe. Now again, keep in mind, this is during the summer months here in in Texas, so it's hot. My needs would change if there, there was a me made May or, or me made every day in December or something like that, or in the in the winter months. But overall, no matter what time of the year it is, what I do realize is that I need more blouses. I need more separates. Um, no matter what time of the year that it is, uh, and and slacks, things like that. Will you join the challenge again? Absolutely. Next year. Um, I predict <laughs> I will be more advanced in my sewing um, and I do desire to get into drafting more a little bit, uh, being a little bit more creative. Um, and so, yeah, we shall see where I am in my, my wardrobe growth uh, by then. Um, and so, yeah, that's basically it. It was absolutely fun. Today I'm wearing um, the Sew Over It Eve dress, wrap dress with my doom tank underneath. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I am absolutely love the challenge. It's fun. Um, again, I'm not opposed to not having something fresh to wear every day that's different. Um, I don't, I wouldn't mind the wardrobe if it was, I can interchange different items. I just didn't have that capability. So either I repeated my items in May, the full item, cause I wear mostly dresses or the mix and matching I did was very, very, very 
very limited. And as you all know, I wrapped up, I'll put the link above, I wrapped out the month uh, of May with wrap dresses for the Sew Together for Summer Challenge. So that is it. If I didn't tag you, like I said, feel free to um, do the tag, share your link down below. I will check you out. Others can check you out as well. Stay tuned for Sunday. I'll be bringing you my June sewing plans and June is the month that my pattern no buy ends. And so I will be sharing on Sunday um, some patterns that I do plan to purchase um, once the um, the pattern no buy is over with on June 30th. So make sure if you haven't, please do subscribe, thumbs up this video. And I thank you everybody for tuning in. And again, check out everybody's channels down below. I'll link everything. Check out um, the blog. Uh, Zoe's blog so you can read all about me made May um, and yeah thank you everybody for tuning in we will see you on Sunday in the next video have a great day